Welcome back guys, episode three. And uh, today I'm officially one of Portlandia's most wanted. We've got 43 trees that are gone and counting. As you can tell, pretty big difference from what it was uh, the last time we shot this exact spot. Kind of looking back up into the lot, but we're kind of looking at what will be the driveway. It's gonna kind of break off here and veer around. And the house is gonna be right up there. And then what we're gonna use this road for is gonna be a secondary entrance for a guest house or a big detached garage. Somebody can store their car collection if we get somebody like that. Um, or just a, a giant sport court or something if somebody wants to build that up top. But you'll basically have a second entrance into your house. So people that spend $3 million on a spec home or on a home in general, makes them feel like you know they got the front entrance and the back entrance, right? So that's what we're going for. So today, we're Portlandia's most wanted, but take a look and shoot some footage and show you all 43 trees that went down. So one of the things that we did is uh, we hired a guy that could actually haul all the wood off too. So as you can see, we got all the stumps. The excavators will actually take the stumps out. And this is one of the big things you need to factor in when you're clearing land, is that when you pull these stumps, they leave a giant hole. And all those holes, you have to bring in rock and compact it. So it really factors into the amount of money it's gonna cost you to redevelop the land. So if you have trees on a big lot like this, or any lot for that matter, keep in mind that once you cut the trees, you have to actually pull the stumps out and then compact it. Now, if the trees are outside of the building envelope or the building area, you can just grind the stumps down. But if they're anywhere within where you're gonna build, you actually have to pull the stumps, the root system, everything, bring in rock, compact it. So it's uh, additional money that you have to account for. Fortunately, the guy we hired to do all this, he actually cut them and he took the logs with him because he has a firewood business on the back end of his tree cutting business. So basically, as he was cutting them, he takes them off site, which helps a little bit that way when people drive by they don't see a giant stack of logs and they can hate on us just a, just a little bit less. 